Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brenda coming to Fest with another predecessor video and today we are going to be talking about their most recent update. Plus, I also have an update for you guys personally based on my channel. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please consider dropping a like and let's get right into it. So as you guys probably know, Predecessor has had multiple closed alpha weekends, three to be exact, and all of them have been pretty successful for the most part, as far as I can tell, based off of the comments in my YouTube videos, and also you guys coming into my Twitch.tv streams and typing in the chat, talking about your thoughts. Uh, a lot of you guys are waiting for Predecessor to come back. You guys want to play it some more and more closed alphas, but I personally believe that they might be switching away from that closed alpha approach, and I'm going to tell you guys why. So. First of all, there is a new update in their Discord channel from Tiger Stripe saying, Hey everyone, we wanted to provide a small update about what is going on behind the scenes. After our closed alpha weekends, we received a lot of feedback and that really helped us refine our roadmap and what we should be working on next. Wanting more variety to your builds? We're currently working on a completely new item system filled with exciting passives and actives. Now, I personally don't think this is a complete overhaul of the item system. I think this is simply just the addition of more items to the item system that was already in place. I wouldn't expect, you know, deck building or cards to come back like they were in Paragon. I think they're just going to add more interesting and proactive items into the game. Items that actually have actives that you can activate in the middle of a fight. For example, like Stasis Gem in Paragon, where you would just freeze and be invulnerable to everything for two and a half seconds, while also being incapable of doing anything else, and stuff like that. Interesting stuff to really spice up the gameplay. Plus, items that have unique passives to them as well, such as aura cards that would create a slow aura, or a hit debuff aura, and stuff like that. So, excited to see what they come up with in the items. Uh, it, it is going to be a nice, fresh, you know, feel to the pace, freshening it up, because they did say that they wanted to kind of stay away from having too many different items in the closed alphas to really focus on ironing out those bugs, which I think they did pretty, pretty well throughout the weekends. Not only that, we have a few favorites joining our hero roster. More information on that soon. You may want to follow us on social media for a tease. They have been pretty active on Twitter, so I think that's really what they mean by their social, although I don't really go on Facebook or anything, so I don't know how active they are over there. We're super excited to get everything out to you all, but we don't want to reveal too much just yet. What we can tell you is that you can expect to get your hands on Predecessor in the coming weeks. There are many more surprises coming. Expect big changes and improvements in the near future. So, what this tells me, why would they put so much emphasis on to get your hands on Predecessor in the coming weeks? Why would they put so much emphasis on this if we could already get our hands on Predecessor if all you did was get a key? And they were pretty, pretty lenient about giving out these keys. They, they gave people a lot of keys. They gave us content creators to give out a lot of keys as well, it seems. So... Maybe this is their hint at opening it up completely to everyone, which is why I think they might be moving away from the closed alphas into something more like an open alpha. Now, I don't think it's going to be early access. There was an interview that was done recently with RGS Ace, uh, who works on the game. Obviously, you guys know him from his Paragon YouTube days. He still actually makes YouTube videos today. Uh, he was interviewed and asked about early access, and he said that early access may come late this year early next year and he gave a rough estimate of about six to nine months so i don't think this is early access just yet i think this is more of an open alpha type deal let me know what you guys think in the comment section below but that's about it for this new information i'm excited uh however we also have one more thing to talk about and that's regarding me and this channel and thanking you guys for your incredible incredible support on saturday the last saturday where we had our first ever sponsored stream and that sponsor was in fact i know wait for it raid shadow legends <laughs> i know i know <laughs> raid shadow legends the meme of all memes but hear me out guys we played it for about two hours on stream and it wasn't that bad i like i, I kind of enjoyed it and i still play it actually you know off stream I, I still go back and play it i think i'm like level 23 now we have a clan like it's a bunch of fun actually i'm not gonna lie and you guys actually knocked it out of the park and i wanted to update you guys on what actually happened with them so uh, we beat all our goals when you guys showed up to the stream and they liked us so very much that they actually gave us new goals and extended that and now gave me personally the opportunity alongside with your guys's help to secure an even larger bag and what that means is basically during the sponsor stream how you guys can actually help 
uh, was to download the game and just beat the tutorial. It will literally take five minutes. The game plays itself. Essentially, you just click on all the arrows that it points you to click on, uh, to, and that's it. You know, you're done with the tutorial. And we had plenty of people do that. And a lot of the people who did download it actually ended up enjoying it. And they're still playing to this day. I see them actively in the clan. So I say this because they extended the goal. And I wanted to just get this out to some more people. I didn't want to do another stream on it. So I'm just letting you guys know. If you guys want to help me out, monetarily speaking, with absolutely zero cost to you, download Raid using the link in the pinned comment below. And uh, play through the tutorial. You also get a bunch of free stuff, like 100,000 in-game currency. And like a super overpowered character, apparently. His name's Lightsworn. He looks kind of sick, actually. Some of the characters in the game have really, really sick design. I'm not going to lie. And this goes through the week. That link will work through the week. And you guys will help me out through the, the end of the week. Uh, technically, this video is not sponsored. Uh, because it was just a sponsored stream. But I'm just letting you guys know that they uh, did update that goal. So... If you guys haven't tried it out yet, you've been sitting on the fence, you can download on PC or on mobile. It works on both and it'll help me out a ton and it'll help me take money from the corporations and put it back into the Twitch streams and the YouTube videos and even giveaways back to you guys. So I'm basically like Robin Hood, honestly. So there you guys have it. If you guys do want to help me out, great. If not, whatever. It's a free country, but I appreciate you guys listening to this nonetheless. I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch me live on Twitch every day, 2 p.m. PDT. As always, never miss a stream. And don't forget to hit the notification bell after hitting the subscribe button so you guys never miss another predecessor fault over Prime, Paragon 2, whatever video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure a long day. Peace. Son! Oh shit! God damn! It's like Tara's hot cousin, bro!